Hey kids, how you doing? Well, it's ass jack time. Ass jack's just another word for a ladder. We, we've been calling it in my family for a long time. Any event, uh, <clears throat> this is a view from my dash cam uh, in my uh, pickup truck uh, because like an idiot, I wasn't thinking about setting up any cameras to do any filming like, you know, a real YouTuber would. Uh, but in any event, you know, so the ladder that you see there is one half uh, of a 16-foot aluminum ladder. Uh, I'm sorry, 12-foot aluminum ladder, and uh, it was only rated for 225 pounds. I, I did try to go up that, but I was afraid it was going to collapse underneath of me, and I really didn't want to provide that much of a uh, comic relief. <laughs> as it would have been to all the people around the marina who uh, took the time to stop and watch this fat boy try to go up this ladder. So this guy here, this is Al. Uh, he lives uh, right up the way. And um, I think his name's Al. I'm pretty sure his name's Al. I may be, I may be mistaken in that. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is Al and uh, Al was going to um, let me borrow this uh, staircase, which I thought was just, you know, really, really, uh, really cool of him. Um, anyhow, uh, this uh, would enable me to get up there without a problem. And the deal that he made with me on this, uh, I'm sorry, Andy, Andy is his name. Um, the deal that he made me on this uh, was that uh, all I had to do was fix it up. So here he, here he having me back my truck up to give him some more room to swing in there. He had lifted it up from a different angle than I had anticipated. And so now he's coming at it from a different, uh, a different perspective, needed my truck out of the road. He's bringing in his big forklift. So he was nice enough to use his forklift to to bring it from his yard behind this uh, boat yard over to this spot and nice enough to set it right there for me right next to my boat. So uh, all he's asked in return is that I, uh, you know, do some maintenance on it and fix some broken parts and rotted parts and uh, which I gladly said I would. Uh, in fact, I've already been to the lumber yard and spent uh, about $140 in lumber and screws uh, so I can fix up this uh, free uh, set of stairs for me to use. So <laughs> I guess nothing's really, uh, really free. But this Andy fellow, he's an interesting character. Um, he actually has been a boat builder. Uh, he builds boats from the ground up, uh, does some custom stuff, uh, a lot of uh, like cabin cruisers, tugs, that size in that, you know, uh, 38 uh, 50 foot uh, size he had a couple really big boats there in his shed that he was working on when I went over to talk to him so now he's going to go and uh, and set my stairs down I just thought you guys might find this interesting you know there's a lot of things that go on in a boat yard that uh, I think a lot of people don't talk about you know the mundane stuff but the reason why I'm, I'm posting this on here it was just to give you uh, an indication of how uh, finances can run amok, I guess would be the best way to uh, address that, where finances can run amok. Because, you know, here they set the boat up uh, on, the, on the deck for me. And, you know, my, my railing there, you know, the, 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 the walking surface of my boat, is, uh, you know, 12 feet, a good 12 feet off the ground. Um, this this ladder that he, or the staircase that he's let me borrow is uh, a 12 foot staircase, um, goes up to a 12 foot height. So that's, uh, you know, that's pretty well up there. And uh, he's going to let me, uh, let me use it. I did find it kind of interesting that, um, you know, I, I took some measurements and looked at it and immediately ran to the lumber yard to get the materials I needed to fix it up. And I got the lumber and I, I came back into the boat yard there and 
uh, got my car positioned, you know. And of course, you know, it's only about 108 degrees in that part of Florida right now. It was very, very hot. Um, and so I pulled all the lumber out of the back of my truck and I stacked it there on the ground. And, and that's when I started digging out my tools and realized I have my tools. I just don't have any of the batteries for my tools. And so I couldn't do anything. Now here it was already like 2.30 in the afternoon at this point, and I just was really disgusted with myself for, I remember to bring all my tools, but I forgot that the guys that helped me pack, we packed up a lot of stuff into a cooler that I had, uh, that I was actually using as a table for my, my chargers for all my tools, and they just took all the tools and the batteries and threw them into that cooler, and I did not bring that cooler out with me. I'm gonna, so tomorrow morning, I'm going to have to stop there back at the storage area again and get that. There's a few other things I want to grab too, make life a little easier. So hopefully tomorrow <laughs> we'll, we'll finally actually get to start with Boatworks. Um, but, you know, here's a little project that just, you know, just side, just completely derailed me. Um, now here, Annie and I are talking about my cap rail and we're talking about the port lights and how it looks like there had been some different port lights in the side. And I want to get his perspective. He was really impressed with the condition of my hull. Uh, he was like, man, there's no blisters on this thing at all. It's in great shape. And I, I had to agree with him on that. You see, he's looking it over right there. He was real impressed with the, the condition of the hull on the boat. So, and like he was saying, if you got a good hull, everything else can be built. So, but you got to have the right hull to begin with. Uh, otherwise it gets pretty spendy. Anyhow, so I had to, uh, to, to come home and, and kind of start or stop the day a little earlier than I wanted to. Uh, made good use of the time back here, taking care of some business things and obviously putting this video together so you guys can enjoy it. But uh, yeah, this is old dash cam footage and I'm kind of impressed with it. It looks, it looks nice and clear. Now, it does have audio, but the audio doesn't kind of jive with what... Uh, what I'm doing, so uh, I just thought I would delete all that noise and um, and see. And you see how fat I am. There's no way I was going to go up that aluminum ladder. The staircase will work. I did try going up the staircase. It's a little too rickety in its present condition uh, and too much rotted wood. So I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to get that lumber cut up tomorrow, and that's going to be my first project tomorrow. Uh, Frank's coming over, and we're going to head to the boat yard. We got a couple a stop or two to make along the way there. Uh, pick up some stuff like my storage unit and get my stuff from there. We're going to head down there, and then we're going to jump on this project. Finally, start making some progress on it. So, I uh, just thought you might find it interesting. Look at that! Isn't that just perfect? Staircase to heaven, man! Right there is my little staircase to heaven. Perfect little ass jack for little old me. So. Anyhow, Andy takes off, and I sit here in the air conditioning and breathe for a minute or two before I get ready to take off. Of course, the dog's whining in the background. You can't hear any of that right now because I got it all muted. But And that dog walking over there, that's actually Andy's dog. It followed him all the way down here. It's an old male. I'm sure he's going to like being around Lily. Uh, but we'll see. But anyhow, kids, so there's a little video there. There I'm getting my, my stairs delivered and put alongside the boat. That gives you a pretty good view of her condition. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm really going to have to uh, cut back on some of the things I wanted to do to her. Financially, I'm, I'm, I'm just hemorrhaging money right now. And um, I'm not going to be able to put some bottom paint on at the moment. I'm um, just hoping and praying that the engine starts and a few other things are working. So, but we'll uh, we'll go into more detail about that tomorrow, kids. In the meantime, be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and we'll have more for you here in the near future. Uh, in the description down below, there's a link to my Patreon. Please consider jumping on board with my Patreon. I'm going to be putting some Patreon-only content up on that site. Uh, so the only people that are going to get that are people who are patrons. Um, I'm not going to do like some do where, you know, it goes early to Patreon and then later to everybody else. I'm just going to put some Patreon specific content, some back behind the scenes kind of stuff, that kind of stuff there. So, 
please give it a please give it a gander. Please give it give it a consideration. Just a couple bucks an episode uh, would really help. So thank you for that, and I'll have more for you in the near future. Bye, kids.